oxygen, O2 or lambda sensors, comes with one, two, three, or four wires. If there's more than two wires then it has an inside heater. This has three wires. In general the two same color wires are for the heater. Here is the white ones are for the heater, and the black is for the signal. Also receiving ground from the metal body. If it has one wire, it's for the signal, plus receiving ground from metal body, and if it has two wires, one for the signal voltage and one for signal ground. And if it has four wires like this one, two wires are for the heater, one negative and one positive, and two wires are for the signal, also one negative and one positive, here the two white wires are for the heater, and the black and gray wires are for the signal. On the connector the wires are different in colors, so you can match them with the O2 sensor wires, to know which are for the heater and which are for the signal. To test the O2 sensor with a multimeter, first you should check its specification. Here is the O2 sensor specification for this car. So here the heater resistance should be approximately 9 ohms at 20 degrees Celsius, that's 68 Fahrenheit. Multimeter on 200 ohms. Here the white wires. Also between the heater wires and the signal wires shouldn't be any reading. Now checking the O2 sensor signal and response time with the multimeter. This won't be accurate. You should use an oscilloscope, but it will give you an idea. O2 sensors response cycles between lean and rich and rich and lean vary between sensors. You should check the specifications, but for this car it's about two times in a second point two. That's what it should look like on an oscilloscope. First, warm up the engine. The O2 sensor won't operate correctly until the engine reaches its operating temperature. Then set the multimeter on 2 volts DC. Connect the leads to the black and gray wires. Then increase the RPM to 2000. A good O2 sensor will show a rapidly fluctuating voltage between 0.1 and 1 volt. If the sensor output voltage is constant, or its response is too slow, it should be replaced. Generally above 90,000 miles, or 140,000 kilometers, O2 sensors will not work properly and should be replaced. 